Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a custom Air Force One. I picked these up for $7.99 at a thrift store. So yeah, $8, that's a steal. You know I had to grab them. Um, there are some st scuff marks and some stains here and there that I couldn't get out. I did just try cleaning them best I can. Um, but you know, $7.99, you're not gonna get a perfect condition shoe. We also have the deglosser from Angelus Paint and we have the red paint as well. We are gonna use these to do a custom. So let's jump into it now. Okay, so we got a table full of supplies here. I'm gonna show you what we got and then we'll jump in and get started so first of course we got the deglosser or leather preparer and the paint we got a couple of paint brushes i picked this up from a dollar tree for a dollar just in case i didn't want to go the paint route or i just need to fill in like a little corner or something uh we have that we got some cotton balls so then we could start with the leather and take off on the nike symbol we got some you know painters tape to because i'm just gonna be doing the nike sign and probably some other little thing i'm not gonna be doing the whole shoe so we do need that painters tape we of course we got the air forces and then we got some newspaper so i don't ruin my family's table so first we're gonna start with deglossing the nike signs on both shoes so let's do it I think I'm gonna do the classic drip effect on the shoe for this custom. If you don't know what the drip effect is, you'll see it soon, obviously. Um, I only taped one side of the shoe. I haven't taped the other side yet, or I haven't even done the other shoe yet because I'm just gonna show you the design on one side of the shoe, and then I'm gonna go back through, do the other side and the other shoe by myself, and then I'll show you the finished product at the end. So we got a couple of red layers on there. It's not looking too bad, a little patchy in some areas, but I'm gonna go back probably at the end and fix that up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw the drip effect now for you guys. All right, so we got something quickly just sketched out. As you can see at the top, we got a little drip here and we got um, mid drip, mid drip, and then like a particle falling off. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna outline this with a small paintbrush with red and then we'll fill it in right after. So we added some drip to it now. Um, again, this has only been one coat. Uh, the Nike sign, I put two to three-ish coats so far. Uh, but the drip, I just applied one coat. So I'm probably going to go back and add some more coats. And then obviously, I'm going to have to do the other side and the other shoe entirely. Um, but I'm going to do that on my own time now. But I'm going to show you the finished product. All right, so we just finished both shoes. I did not put the laces back in yet because I'm going to soak them to get them looking new again. Uh, we decided to go with the drip on the outside and i colored in the air red and then on the inside we just have the normal red logo and i could show you both shoes we have the normal red logo on the inside and on the outside we have the drip i think these came out looking pretty good for a 7.99 shoe um, I used some more of that leather deglosser just to go around the edges to make it pop more um, and get rid of some more dirt spots. But other than that, I think they came out looking pretty good. I'm going to do a little clips here of the shoes to show you better angles of them. All 
right, guys. Well, that is it for this video. Again, we did the custom on the Air Force One, the drip, basic drip effect. If you have any other suggestions on any other customs you'd like to see me do, comment them down below because I do have a couple other pairs upstairs that I'm probably going to do customs on in the near future. And once I go to more thrifting with the store starting to open up again, hopefully we can find more deals. If you did enjoy today's content, then make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button and turning the bell notifications button on so you never miss a future video. And even drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And with all that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and peace.